Hello and welcome to Let's Learn Computing. I'm Todd Colwell. Today's tutorial is to create a presentation about staying safe online with OpenOffice for Kids. It's for Windows PC, the subject is computing, and it's for children ages 7 to 9. To prepare for this lesson, you'll need to make sure that OpenOffice for Kids is installed on your school network. And this is the link to the OpenOffice for Kids site. Uh, I'm also going to assume in this lesson that you've already discussed being safe on the internet. So this lesson is more about how to use the presentation software. A really good resource to use for discussing internet safety is the website from the UK called Think You Know. All right, so the concepts in today's lesson are the skills used to create a slide. So the vocabulary that you might encounter with the children are themes, transitions, and layouts, and also how to insert an image. So for an easy activity, the children can simply insert some images in which the teacher has put on the school network, downloaded already before the start of the lesson. So to do that, a reminder, go to Google Images. I'm going to search for secret, so that we'll get some pictures about being secret. But before you do start to download some of these, go to search tools and go to usage rights to make sure that you're allowed to use them. Click on the image. Once again, you should be okay with this, but right click, save image as, and then you can see in my downloads folder, I've got some pictures already that I'm going to use. So I'm going to call this a sensible name so the children will be able to see what it is, then click save. So to the right is the icon for OpenOffice for Kids in Press, uh, which is equivalent to Microsoft PowerPoint, but it's free. And the first thing you get when you open the program is this presentation wizard. So children should select the default one to create an empty presentation, then to click Next, and then they'll have a great deal of fun looking at different types of themes for the slide design. They can have a blue border, they can have a technical polygon, there's many, many different ones. Blue and white lightning, that looks pretty good. Then they can click Next. Now another fun thing for them to choose is the effects. So make sure you get them to click on the little down arrow here. And I can choose one of these at random. There we go. And we can choose the speed in which that happens for every slide. And then we can click Create. So we've talked about themes, meaning what each slide will look like. Talked about transitions, that means what sort of animation will happen when the slide goes to the next slide. And now the other concept for the lesson is layouts, and that's over here. So the default one is just the blank slide. It's a good idea to go to this one, a title slide, and they should be encouraged to have a title, such as Staying Safe Online. They can add their name. All right, so after that, we can go to right-click and go to New Slide. Now for the second slide, I want to get on to saying different ways in which you can be safe online. So I want a title at the top, but also to insert a picture. So uh, for that one, I'll select this one, title only. And then I'm going to type the second one, which is keep personal information safe. Okay, so now to insert the picture, let's simply go to insert picture from file. Now depending how your IT de department has set this up, uh, that might look at a different folder, but I had to go to downloads and then I made a folder already. So on this one, double click or they can click open. Alright, so just some ideas for resizing the picture. If they use one of these middle ones, then it will squash the picture. Or if they use the side ones, it will also squash it. But of course, if they use the ones on the side, that will be okay to resize the picture and keep it in proportion. Okay, so that might be enough for some children in your class as an easy activity, just to simply have a title slide, a title page, and then a picture. As a medium activity, the children can select a slide with more detail, which has a title, an image, and also a text box to write a sentence about staying safe online. So to do that, I firstly need to right-click and go to new slide and then the layouts over here, a title, text and maybe some clip art. And one way you can stay safe online is to check with your parents before signing up to game sites. Alright, so I've got a title and I've written a few sentences about staying safe 
checking with your parents. Uh, notice this slide also has some um, nice bullet features as the default, so I encourage the children to have plenty of space and try not to have one block of text. Another advantage with this slide layer is that instead of having to go to insert picture from file, um, three steps, they can just double click on this picture to add the graphics. So if I double click there, it will remember where I inserted a picture from before and I'd like to select this one. So double click or select open and it will insert it nicely into that area of the screen so there's not much dragging around to be done there at all. So some challenge activities are for the children to search, download and insert their own images and also to have a look at custom animations and to insert hyperlinks into the presentation. So let's have a look at how to do these bottom two. Alright, so first of all the layout pane will be selected and so we need to go to the custom animations and to do that I firstly need to think about which part of the screen should appear first and that should probably be the title and if you click in the middle the computer will think that you want to write so you need to make sure that's on this black cross here on the side right click and then go down to here to custom animation so you notice the tabs have changed so modify effects add and then we could just do one like this and it gives you a nice preview okay and the next one could be the picture doesn't matter where you click on the picture go to custom animation add and that can be this one check that looks okay and the nice preview okay and finally the writing so right click on the side it can be a bit tricky to get the side custom animation and this one can be that one. Okay, so it doesn't look like it did much, it's just in the editing page here. So to view the slideshow, we need to go to um, slideshow and slideshow. But just make sure if you want to see it from the start, you actually need to have the first page selected. All right, but I just want to show you this page. So slideshow, slideshow, this is a transition. So we've got the title comes first, good, and the picture and then the words. Looks good. So finally to insert a hyperlink uh, I've just created a new slide and I've typed the name of some good sites I know for children that are safe and have lots of information about online safety. First of all to insert the link you need to go to the internet and get the link so I think you know. Select the site, the children can th click three times or right click copy and then go back to the presentation and then insert a hyperlink and the target is the text so paste and apply NetSafe Utah firstly go and get the site here's the site copy after clicking three times back to open office insert a hyperlink and oh, there it is and paste apply and then they can close. All right, so to really see that it works, you can go to slideshow and then click on the link, the little hand will come up and then yes, that's worked correctly. Other activities you might like to show some of the fast finishing children uh, to select the font and here that can change the font, uh, make it bigger or smaller, change the alignment and over here is the font color. Right, so, and then there's some good little shapes down here. These ones are good for speech. If you want to have children talking to each other about being safe online, what could they be saying there? And then double click to start typing. All right, so the children will continue to make one slide for each different way they've learnt about for how to stay safe online. So after that, to view the whole animation, just I'm going to cut this little speech bubble, they can go to slideshow button to the right over here or slideshow and then to slideshow and then they need to make sure that they've got the first slide so staying safe online click so you might get them to do a speech in front of the class after they've made this presentation and here are the custom animations okay and we've got some hyperlinks at the end here and they're looking really good. So it's a really important activity for children to know how to stay safe online and I hope you enjoy it and the children will love it. 
To request a tutorial or to download a copy of the slides used in this tutorial, visit letslearncomputing.com. While you're there, please subscribe to the Let's Learn Computing YouTube channel so you don't miss a tutorial. I'm Todd Colwell, thanks for listening and see you next time.